A friend of mine contacted me on uh, Facebook and said, Andy, I'm doing my brake pads uh, sometime next week. Have you got any tips? Because I've not done one for a long time. So I said to him, go and look on YouTube. There'll be plenty of videos on YouTube. And he did, and he come back to me and said, he said, a lot of them I can't understand them. They're going about rotors, which is the Australian word for brake discs. And uh, they look a bit complicated. So I had a look myself, and I must admit, some of the videos on there are a bit over the top. Uh, the, you know they're making you do more than what you need to do this is probably one of the easiest jobs if you if you're good at diy this is probably one of the easiest jobs you'll do on your car is change your front brake pads and it'll actually save you quite a, uh, a lot of money labor wise if you shop around on ebay and a lot of the online uh, parts uh, retailers you can get your 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 brake pads pretty cheap say an average of 25 pound per set uh, which is you know great and if you go somewhere like Quitfit, I'm presuming they'll probably charge you about £100. So you're going to save yourself, say, £75 by doing it yourself. And it's not that difficult. Because it's the brakes, a lot of people think, oh, I'm not touching the brakes. But actually, all you're doing is undoing a couple of bolts and doing a bit of pushing and shoving and then putting it back together again. And that's it, basically. So there's nothing to worry about. I'll go along, uh, I'll do the video and I'll explain as I go along. Now I'm a mechanic and I've got all the tools I need to do most jobs. So I'm basing it on that you, the DIY mechanic, has not got as many tools as me. So to change your front brake, brake pads, these are the basic tools you might need. You might not need all these, but I'll explain that as I go along. But these are roughly the basic you might need to do your front brake pads. Right, this is the brake caliper. This is on the driver's side. So what I've done, I've turned the driver, the wheel out this way so the caliper is facing this way so you can get in so I've got in the car and I've turned the steering wheel to the right to bring out the brake caliper like that now I'll explain a few things to you that is actual the brake caliper there and inside there is a piston and when you put your foot on the brake it pushes a piston out onto the brake pads and that's what causes the car to brake so that is the caliper the, the pistons in there the brake pads are in there go to the side there's the actual brake pad that's the caliper that's the caliper and brake pad holder there that's your disc this is a bit rusty because i've not been using this car so i'm just showing you on this car but that's the disc yours will be nice and shiny if you use your car regular now the same model of car and the same year of car can actually have different brakes on them when they manufacture the cars in the factory on the production line they use whatever brakes are available at the time to keep the production line going so one my one car might have lucas brakes on and another car might have bosch brakes on the principle is the same but they might have different things like this one to undo this caliper here, it's got bolts on some have a a cap there you take off and have a star bolt inside that's why I brought this along because you might need that or something similar and put it in there but this is bolt so it's it's easier but your car might have one of these on it you can have a bike you know I've got all the tools like I say I've got a full comprehensive set of them but if you want to do it yourself you're probably better off buying something like that because it'll be cheaper that's if your car does have the star bolts on them right the first thing we're going to do before we touch anything it's because we're putting new brake pads in the old ones have been pushed by the piston and they've worn down but the piston stays out so if we try and put new brake pads in now they won't fit because the piston's still pushed out so what we're going to do is we're going to push the piston back before we do anything and it's an easy way of doing this that's why we needed the screwdriver by the way i'm holding my phone so i'm have to put the phone down while i set it up then restart the phone again so all we do with this is find a suitable space i think it'll fit in there like that and pull like that or push you can push but it's probably pulling and keep pulling like that you can see i've managed to squeeze that in there and what you do is you pull on it and that's pushing that's pulling the the caliper out but it's also pushing the piston back in like i said i'll put the phone i'll put the phone down again and keep doing it push back now because you can feel that's loose now you see that move sliding that's sliding because it's loose so what I'm going to undo now, what I'm going to do now is undo these two bolts. You can undo one and flip that up, up to there. I'll show you that now. Now I'm using a socket to undo this uh, caliper bolt. You might not have a socket. You might have a spanner. Now if you're using a spanner and you find it's going to be a little bit tight, I mean I've got good leverage on this. This should easily undo. But if you're using a spanner, you can just give it a little bit of a tap with an hammer 
obviously tap downwards to undo the nut just to take that first bit of uh, tightness off it but I'm using this socket so it should come out easy there you go probably can undo that by hand now yeah, there you go right that's undone oh by the way when you get new uh, new brake pads the chances are you're going to get new bolts as well which is good all we do now is lift that up don't forget I've pushed the piston back so everything's nice and loose there you go I've lifted that up now what you can do you can leave that there as it is or you can fully remove it that's up to you you might on different cars you might have to fully remove the caliper but on this one you don't have to uh, and all we do now is pull out the brake pads which are them there I should pull out by hand really basically that's your brake pad there you go pulled out by hand same on the other side uh, like I say these don't need changing and that's basically it bring that along clean everywhere clean in there as well and you're ready to put your new brake pads back in now when you get your new brake pads people ask do you use copper grease or not well personally I do now if these were brand new brake pads I put some on because I'm, I'm only showing you I'm not gonna bother what you do you just get a, you know a bit on your finger and rub it on the surface here on the metal surface at the back of the brake pad like that don't put it on the friction part there because you won't have no brakes because obviously you're taking away the friction so just put a bit smear it on the back there not loads you know just enough to give it a bit of a covering oh by the way when you're putting your brake pads back make sure you put them back the right way around i've seen many people put it metal to metal so make sure you put the friction part facing the disc like so put that back in so pretend that's a brand new one i'll just put it back in you could actually put because that's up there like that you could actually put a bit of the copper grease now while you've got it in place there like that rather than do it on there so yeah so we will revise that put your brake pads back in and just put a bit of copper grease like that on some cars it's a bit awkward to do that but on this car, like you say, everything's out of the way, so it's pretty easy. So just put a bit of copper grease on now, like that there. Same on the other side. So let's pretend they're brand new, pa brand new uh, fitted brake pads. That's it, the job's done. All we do now, oh, I'll put a bit of copper grease on there as well, just around there. And all we do now is close that back up, like so. You might have to push that in there. That's it, that's it. There you are, so they're sliders. As you push the your foot on the brake and the piston pushes onto the brake pads that slides in and out like that look you see anyway put the bolt back like so turn it up <sighs> and that's it basically you've done your brake pads now how, how easy was that <laughs> oh by the way before you drive off anywhere make sure you get in the car and pump the brakes and the reason why you want to do that is because you want to push you see there you can't see the piston now i'll get in the car and do it now what you need to do is push the piston back out by pump, pumping the brakes and that will tighten everything up and be, uh, because you put new brake pads in the brakes might feel a bit soft and that should clear up after about you know about 50 miles you should feel back to normal it's because they need to bed in it's nothing you've done wrong they just might feel like a bit soft and they need to bed in it also depends on the state of your discs if you've got little pit holes in like that then the brake pads needs to bed into that to match the line of the, the, sc the scoring so to speak so don't worry about that because you've not touched any of the uh hydraulics you've done nothing with that so all it is is because they need to bed in and that's basically it what i'll do now is i'll just go and pump the brakes now and you should see the piston come back out there so i've been in the car and i've pumped the brakes and it's pushed the piston now you can just see it in there so everything's nice and tight now so when you fit the other side the other brakes on the other side and everything's back put together do the same again just pump the brakes when you put the wheels back on before you drive off just give the brakes another pump and that should be it and then you've done yourself some new brake pads Thanks for watching.